the golden days of counterbalance back in D1 when that's all everybody wanted was counterbalance, hidden hand, army of one, all the golden perks of life support. But anyways, we're going to take a look at D2 and see if counterbalance is only a mod component worth deleting or worth a crap. Here's D1 with no counterbalance at all on an unbent tree where you have kind of left and right up and down and then here is a same gun unbent tree with counterbalance but really crappy stability it would still become usable because all you had to worry about was the left and right but the up and down was a laser beam so no up down kick at all except for a thing kicking like a mule because it had no stability and then you go to the old hopscotch pilgrim you get one of those with counterbalance and bottom half and you're golden so here's without counterbalance on the hopscotch pilgrim and then if you had counterbalance don't even worry about it just don't even touch the joystick just pull the trigger pretty much same thing no counterbalance on the shadow price my favorite pvp auto rifle back in d1 here we go again with counterbalance and it shoots like a dream only up and down doesn't go anywhere super controllable I love that gun had so much range on it alright the guessing game which auto rifle has counterbalance this is destiny 2 with the half dandy here's auto rifle number one I'm trying to just shoot it in that little circle plate and it has trouble just staying inside of that crazy all right let's switch it to auto rifle number two and let's see if there's that much of a difference so this one seems a little bit more controlled compared to auto rifle number one lets me hang it out in the circle a lot more all right bros now let's take a brief moment and play this stupid little game. Is it Auto Rifle 1 or is it Auto Rifle 2? Submit your answer now. Alright, you should have it checked or you may not even give a crap. So let's find out. Holy crap. Auto Rifle 1, the gun that couldn't stay in the circle as well, had the counterbalance. So dudes, it is pretty much trash to put counterbalance on any kind of auto rifle. There's counterbalance. There, it's same situation. It doesn't really stay inside the plate. All right, let's swap it over to auto rifle number two again. And for whatever reason, this one has more control. So the only time you really want to mess with counterbalance is if you have a pulse rifle. That's the only time you'll notice any kind of vertical difference. That's really all that it does. It just kicks up and down. And then if you don't have it at all, the gun kind of goes to the left. Each gun is different, but with the bygones, that's the uh, kick rate on it. And then we put it back on counterbalance, and we just have a vertical movement, basically. So dudes, if you don't use pulse rifles that much, then every time you get a counterbalance mod, I highly recommend that you just delete it for the mod component. There's the two guns side by side, basically same stability. So, hope that helps you out, dogs. I'm, I just delete them now. I don't even care to have them. If a gun comes with it on there, I will either keep the gun or delete the gun for the mod and then delete the mod. But either way, man, counterbalance in D2 is garbage. I wish they would make it good again, but who knows what the future holds. Later, bros.